Yo, what's good? Oh, what's up? Hey, can a pregnant woman get a little look? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you gotta give it up for the bump, but back with another cooking video y'all always asking me to cook y'all always asking me to you know whip some up and today i'm doing a cooking video based off of one of the meals in my cookbook i you know i'm giving y'all some exclusive tea right now i'm about to do a curry stuffed salmon um i never ever use measurements i always eye it so this will be one of my first times using some of the measurements that i use to come up with the recipes and stuff. Where's my paper? My paper, my paper, my paper, my paper. Oh, it's right here. So, this is from my cookbook. So, I'm about to go um, by the measurements that I wrote down in my cookbook to make sure that they are accurate for you guys because I want you guys to be able to go by my cookbook verbatim and know, okay, everything Deja said in this cookbook is A1, is on point, and she ain't missing no beat. So, you know, when you cooking, Sometimes you gotta go back and double check and triple check and just make sure that it's right. So I'm gonna do um, a curry stuffed salmon with seafood rice on the side. That's what we're gonna have tonight for dinner. And I'm just gonna walk you guys basically step by step on, um, you know, how to cook this stuffed salmon. You always wanna go ahead and preheat your oven because once you're done seasoning and getting everything mixed and stuff, you wanna make sure that you can just pop it right in the oven and keep it pushing. Always wash your hands before you cook. I'm gonna go wash my eyes right now because I didn't wash my whole life. Okay, so I just washed my hands. Um, so as the cookbook is stating, it's telling me to preheat my oven to 350. You guys can't see my, I don't know if you can see my oven, but it's already been preheated, it's ready to go. Um, the next step you wanna do is you wanna cook your spinach in a small, in a small bowl, I mean in a small saute pan with chicken broth. I don't cook nothing really with water. Water is not my friend because water ain't got no seasoning, no taste, no nothing. So anytime I'm steaming any vegetables, anything, I'm cooking it with a little bit of chicken broth. I'm cooking it with some beef broth. I'm cooking it with some type of broth, something with some type of flavor. So um, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Now, when you're doing crabs, I mean, now when you're doing stuffed salmon, it's very simple. You want to season your fish. I'm going to I'm not going to go exactly step by step because like I said, I'm going to go ahead and season my salmon, put it in my in my pans, and then I'm going to go into making my stuffing to put on top of my salmon. So, what you're about to witness right now is me seasoning my salmon. Um I have a lot of people to feed, so I ain't brought that much salmon, so I'm going to cut mine up into smaller little fillets <laughs> to try to stretch it because this was supposed to be like a little taste test so they can just see what it's giving. So, come on, let's get to seasoning. Okay, so I'm about to season my salmon. I actually am going to probably season it inside of this, um, the pan that I'm going to put it in. So that way... It's already in there and I don't have to um, do all that. I'm gonna put a little bit of vegetable oil at the bottom so that it do not stick to the pan. Just a little bit. And I'll just put some. Don't know that. Okay, as y'all see, I got a couple of different seasonings and stuff. Um, my thing is, you guys are able to season your salmon however you want to season your salmon. These are just some seasonings that I'm going to use for my salmon. But you guys can definitely season your salmon however you choose to. So I'm going to start with my thyme. And I'm just going to kind of just sprinkle it all over. Uh, I just take each one. Everything is pretty much a tablespoon. You know, I want to do, like I said, I don't measure my stuff. But everything is a tablespoon. You don't want to over season because you don't want it to be too um, tangy. So every piece of salmon... Every piece of meat gets at least one tablespoon. And I like when some of that seasoning gets in the bottom of the pan because it just keeps it moist, it keeps it seasoned, it keeps the broth that comes from the salmon season. Um, I love the seafood magic in the Old Bay seasoning for seafood because it just gives it a different type of um, taste. So like I said, you season your 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 um your fish the way you want to season your fish. 
I'm gonna season my fish the way I want to season my fish, and then we could just go from there. I do have the, some seasonings written down. Um, on here, I do have these seasonings written down so that you guys are able to look at um, the seasonings that I use if you want to season your fish the way I season my fish. But like I said, I always put two tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning on my um, on my seafood. So that's the seasoning process, nice and pretty, nice and seasoned, not too over seasoned. And now we're gonna get into So I'll be back. I always put lemon, fresh lemon over any seafood, whether it's fish, shrimp, it don't matter what it is. I'm always gonna put fresh lemon and I'm gonna squeeze it. And this also keeps the salmon from being all dry and nasty looking. So I season it with fresh, I mean, I keep it moist with fresh lemon. So that's what I do. To each his own, but this is what I do to just make sure my salmon stays moist. I see. So I'm about to put on my spinach so I can go ahead and make my um my stuffing. So as you guys see, I have some butter here. And I have my eye on like medium, nothing too high. my spinach and most people know how to cook spinach and like I said I put a little bit of chicken broth I put a little butter a little chicken broth inside of the pan so that it does not um so it don't stick to the pan you just want to stick your spinach in there depending on how many people you're cooking for like I said I'm always cooking for a lot of people so it's best that I have as much as possible. Most people will not be cooking for this many people. So they don't require and have to have this much spinach. Nine times out of ten is going to be about like one or two handfuls of spinach. Um, I'm just cooking for a lot of people. Um, this is the type of chicken broth that I use. So I'm just going to pour. A circle motion just enough for it to catch a steam just enough for it to um to cook and then you want to use your seafood magic to season your spinach okay so i'm about to start doing my stuffing and like I said, you guys are cooking for however many people you're cooking for, but you wanna dice up your bell peppers. Finely dice them up, um, and I'm gonna put them in my bowl where I'm gonna have all of the other good ingredients that I'm gonna be doing. Okay. So I'm here. As you guys see, my spinach is nicely cooked. So I'm gonna pour that in my bowl with my bell peppers and onions. I'm gonna finish dicing these up. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have all of my vegetables and stuff in here. So now what you wanna do is you wanna add your garlic. 
I'm gonna add your garlic. I also, I'm, I love garlic, so I'm gonna add um, a tablespoon of garlic. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of garlic into that. And I'm also gonna just sprinkle a little garlic on top of the salmon. Just to give it more flavor. Next thing you want to do is you want to get your cream cheese and you want to put the um, the cream cheese inside. You only need, um, I'm cooking for a lot of people, so I would use this whole entire thing of cream cheese, but for people who are just cooking for like three or four people, I will only use half of it. Um, only when you're cooking for a larger crowd is when I would use um, more stuff so like I said at this moment I'm cooking for a lot of people so I'm cooking uh, with bigger portions of things most things would be smaller portions um you want to take your egg and you want to put that inside of here as well and then you want to do your seasoning with your seafood magic you want to do two tablespoons. I can add two tablespoons, so I don't really use the thing. And then I put a little bit of black pepper inside of there as well. Then you want to put these breadcrumbs in there and you also want to put your mozzarella cheese in there and then you just mix it all up together and that is going to come then you're going to come up with your base mozzarella cheese So being that I'm cooking for a lot of people, I'm going to put one cup of cheese. I'm going to use one cup of cheese because I'm cooking for a lot of people. Otherwise, you won't need that much. I'm also going to put one cup of the breadcrumbs. Like I said, otherwise, you wouldn't need this much, but I'm cooking for a lot of people. <laughs> If you were doing it, like I said, you would probably use half of everything that I'm doing. You would use half of it. So as you guys can see, I have everything in here. So I'm going to mix it all up. See that cream cheese in there? And you just want to get it until it's finely let me get my gloves because I like to get my hands involved
So this is what it should look like. This is what your stuffing should look like. It should be evenly, um, evenly uh, distributed. You should be able to see your breadcrumbs. You got your onions, your bell peppers, and everything. And everything should be very, very thick. You see how solid that is? And that's going to go right on top of your salmon. So I'll be back once I have all my salmon topped. And we'll be able to go from there. Okay, y'all. So I have my beautiful salmon nice and topped with the stuffing. So what I did do was I mixed everything up as you guys seen on the um, on the back side. I mean on the last slide. And then I topped everything off with um, the breadcrumbs. And then I seasoned it with a tablespoon of Old Bay, a tablespoon of the Cajun seasoning, and then a tablespoon of the Magic seasoning. So what I'm about to do now is go ahead and put my salmon inside the oven and let it start cooking. I always like to put parsley and things like that on top just for the look of it. Um, you don't have to do it. That's just what I like to do. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let this be cooking while I start working on the... Um, the sauce for the top of the salmon which is the curry uh which is the curry season that's gonna go on top of it once everything is nice and cooked so i'll be back once i got the sauce ready for the salmon okay guys so right now i'm cooking my rice i'm waiting for it to come to a boil and then i'm gonna give it a stir and then turn it down to low so that it can steam and cook i have my curry um uh topping that's gonna go on top of my salmon once it's done and then let's just give the salmon a look of what it's looking like. Y'all see this fog and everything is looking really good. Okay, so what I'm about to do right now is cut up an onion and this bell pepper to put inside of my seafood rice. And then after that, guys, I'll be back after I get everything finished and plated so that you guys can see what the finished product looks like. But I'm ready to eat, baby, ready to eat, man, ready to eat, hungry, okay? Um, this meal take a little minute. I'm not cooking it anymore. I just land, <laughs> but I'll be back. So I was about to do a taste test of the food. This is my stuff, salmon, and uh, right here, pot. And don't lie, here, you want to take a little piece of bread? Give me a number, give me a number. The salmon bread is perfectly you know, the rice is a little smushy. <laughs> See, you needed me on the rice, chef. I told you, chef, call me in, coach. That's you it, wanna man. leave me on the you side? Call. You said the rice is nasty. I, 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 I can I see it's a little smushy. smushy. That's the exact word, smushy. Well, the first of all, the only reason okay. it's like that is because that's not the normal rice that I get. She, no, I the rice excuses, is rice. Excuses. Girl, excuses. It's like she messed up on the mac and cheese, but we ain't gonna bring that back. Woo! <laughs> so, <laughs> Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, comment for more videos y'all want me to do. Thank y'all for tuning in. It was all in. Of the Well, yeah, that was it. Well, well, I'll, I'll give it that way. Catch me next time on uh, Big D's Kitchen, okay?